wonderful people how you doing it's your girl linda kenyita and today i am in chuna estate kitengela kajiado county and i'm visiting drew kennels where they breed dark tan german shepherds and i hope i have a nice learning session with drew and um, i hope you also get to learn more about dogs if you're a dog lover if you're thinking about getting your first dog if you're thinking about becoming a breeder stick with me as we get to learn also subscribe don't forget to subscribe like our content share our content and let's grow this community together okay let's go to the kennel and meet drew hi linda hi drew welcome to drew canines thank you for having us Karibu. asante Welcome. Thank you. Here we are. Here we are. It will be very noisy. The moment we come in, there will mm -hmm. be a lot of barking. So I hope you'll be able to catch up that uh, there will be a lot of noise. But that's how, they, especially the German Shepherds, they bark a lot because of excitement. They are happy to see you. They want to come out. They are telling you, open the door. Are you coming to let's play? So there's a lot of noise. So bear with me. I, I, I used to think the noise is because uh, they most of the time when I enter kennels and they start barking, I kind of get afraid. No, 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 no. These ones are very excited to uh, see you. Okay. Ah. Yes. And so, this, uh, look at that one. So here. Cute. Okay, so, let's start from there. So this, these are the, the Meltis. Uh -huh. The Meltis. So these are the ones I, I want now to work with. Then on this side, we have the like uh, the long coats, very friendly. Yeah, and I can see what you were saying about it being dark. Yes. I'm used to seeing the, the one with the red tan. Yes, dark. You see mine are long coats and dark. Mm -hmm. So this is what I'm specializing in. Very dark dogs and, and long coats. Very friendly. They are very. They love me very much. So if you have them as a family, if you hang out with them, they're beautiful dogs to hang out with. Oh, okay. Yes. Watch out. It's all right. They're too big. You can see they're also very big dogs when they stand. You see the, the size. So they're very big and strong dogs. Yes. So there are also other kennels on that side. Okay. I will show you. Okay. Uh, these are some how, how, how old are these puppies? The puppies are three months. Uh, they're still young. Uh, some three months and, uh, and counting, they are now going to, going to four, four months. So are these for sale? Yes, these ones are for sale. These ones have been booked already, so they are waiting for the owners to come and collect them. Yes. So you can see these ones are dark. The, the dark uh, German Shepherds. So these are the puppies I'm keeping. The dark German shepherd. you can see they are very different and long coat. So that is my speciality. Then the Meltis, that's, these are kind, very friendly, very yeah, and very playful. Very happy. Yes. Yeah. So, so here are more kennels. We have more kennels here. Mm -hmm. So I've kept uh, most of the females, mm -hmm. the ones which are, the ones which are breeding. So they are usually here, and the ones which are also growing, the young ones. So I kept them here. And as you can see, the spaces is now is becoming small. So that's why I want to move out and now build a, a place for them where they can now stay more comfortably. Have you named your dogs? Yes. Uh, this one is called Princess. Princess? Yes. Mm -hmm. Princess. So she's a little shy, at least because we are so many. So now they are a little shy. Snoopy. 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 Uh, so John. This is a short coat. Yes, this is a short coat. Mm -hmm. But these are the old ones, mm -hmm. but very friendly. Mm -hmm. So these are these dogs are good to keep as a family dog, mm -hmm. and uh, they, they are, you see they are very happy to see you. They like they like being uh, patted. Yeah. So they are, it's very happy. <laughs> good, very obedient. That's Lily. So this uh, this is now what I'm trying to put this kind of uh, breeds yes hi my people so i'm here hanging out with andrew and i will let him introduce himself and what he does and why breeding dogs andrew yes karibu asante sana mm -hmm. 
my name is Andrew Gashengo Macharia, mm -hmm. uh, but I go by the name Drew, mm -hmm. and that's why now the kennel is called Drew Canines. Mm -hmm. I specialize in German Shepherds, mm -hmm. long coats, but specifically dark long coats. Mm -hmm. That's my specialty and my, the string online on which I specialize on. However, I also have another kind of dogs I keep. They're called Meltis, mm -hmm. the white ones, the small ones, mm -hmm. because I notice a lot of families and uh, children are asking for these dogs. They want to have the small dogs to keep in the house. Mm -hmm. So I'm also keeping the Meltis for, for my kennel. Okay, and uh, for how long have you been running the kennel? I've been now about uh, four years, uh, going to five. Mm -hmm. And at first, I started uh, the dogs for myself, mm -hmm. but a lot of people in the community were coming to me mm -hmm. because my dogs were well kept. They, were, uh, they had a good look, mm -hmm. it had, they had a good breed, and uh, they liked it. Mm -hmm. And our, a lot of my neighbors would come to me and say, can, can I get a puppy from your dog? Mm -hmm. Then I would possibly uh, when they when they bred when they bred I gave them, mm -hmm. but after a while they went and advertised mm -hmm. to their friends and their neighbors mm -hmm. that they, because everybody now they were asking where did you get this kind of dog, mm -hmm. so they always said go to Drew and you'll get a good dog. Mm -hmm. So from that time they. All my neighbors here in the community, they have come to me mm -hmm. and they have advertised my dogs mm -hmm. even across to other uh, towns. Mm -hmm. And I have people coming as far as from, from Mombasa, mm -hmm. uh, Nakuru. They just come straight just to pick dogs from my kennel because they like the breed and the quality I breed. Oh, that is awesome. So your kennel has grown because of demand. It's not when you started your <coughs> keeping dogs, you did not have... Um, breeding dogs as a business idea you just uh, started yeah. as your own dogs oh that is awesome so definitely your kennel grew because of the business yeah. so how is the business so far are people buying puppies what are the challenges of selling puppies that you've come across so far uh, for me, I think a lot of people have uh, have loved my dogs. My dogs, I'm surprised they go very fast. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, most of my dogs they are always booked before even I sell, even before I start advertising them. Oh. Uh, so I don't have a lot of challenge. Mm -hmm. However, I have challenges with the with the brokers. Mm -hmm because uh, I keep my dogs with very high quality mm -hmm. and uh, the price the many of these brokers, they, they start uh, asking to buy these dogs from, mm -hmm. they, they are asking monies even, uh, the cost of that puppy was not even that, that amount. Mm -hmm. So, but basically a lot of people are coming, they're asking. Mm -hmm. There are many dogs out there, there are many German Shepherds out there, mm -hmm. but the quality is very, is very, few people who have quality kind of German Shepherds mm -hmm. and you can go across many kennels you go from one kennel to another but you'll not find a good quality uh, German Shepherd that you'd love to keep for yourself as a pet you you love to look at it and also it will give you good security mm -hmm. so people now there are people who who want to have got dogs which which look good mm -hmm. people are now keeping dogs in the house and now they want good good looking dogs so that's why now i want to keep those kind of dogs where people can actually hang out with your dog mm -hmm. you, and people feel good when you're hanging out with your dog it looks good people like it people ask you oh that dog looks nice mm -hmm. and uh, that's what i'm i'm specializing on was your first dog a german shepherd Yes, my first dog was German Shepherd. I got two German Shepherds. Actually, I got it from a friend who was keeping registered German Shepherds, but at the time I didn't register mine. Mm -hmm. So my I bought them because first we wanted security for for this area, but also I had my my, my children who also loved dogs. Mm -hmm. So we brought the dogs and they kind of loved them, and uh, so that was. So I started with German Shepherds. Mm -hmm. So I've never kept any other dogs. So that's my first official dog. So why the German Shepherd, your first official dog, and it is one now you're kind of specializing on, why the German Shepherd? Good. The German Shepherd has, uh, has good traits. Mm -hmm. It's a very friendly dog. Mm -hmm. uh, like as I had stated, I have children, very young uh, children. Uh, I found German Shepherds are very good family dogs and like other kind of dogs uh, and also they are good for security they have dual function mm -hmm. you can keep them as a family dog mm -hmm. 
and uh, you're not scared that they will maul your children, they will eat your small ones, mm -hmm. things like that. So they are very, uh, very, very friendly. And that's why I found uh, German Shepherds. They're easily, they're, they love people. Mm -hmm. They love people easily and they tend to hang out with people. Mm -hmm. And, but also for security, they're very good. If you, f if you look also in the, in the, in the trends of dogs, mm -hmm. you find people keep German Shepherds because even you can train them. They are very. They are, They have a good body. Mm -hmm. They they can do security. They mm -hmm. can keep in the home. They have a lot of features which a lot of people are looking for, and that's why we, I want to do German Shepherd. Definitely, I will recommend a first-time owner, and especially people who have families. Mm -hmm. Any person who has a family, you start with a German Shepherd. Especially if you're looking for a family dog and a security dog at the same time. Duo work then you can go for a German Shepherd. But if you're keeping a company, or if you're doing a factory, or you're, you're doing the, the heavy security, uh, let's say like the police, uh, maybe you might want to have a, a other kind of dogs, but for families, I would recommend to start with a German Shepherd. When you get a dog, start when it's a puppy, because it becomes like a family member. And uh, start with it when it's very small, let it be a friend to you, hang out with it, uh, wash it, feed it, uh, play with it. It loves a lot of playing. It feels very nice to hang around. So it's, it's, it will be like a family part of you. Uh, then what happens is once the dog becomes uh, very good to you and a friend to you, it becomes your protector because it does not like now other people. It also becomes jealous. Mm -hmm. Now it, it tends now to keep everybody away from you. So that's now how it becomes a protective dog. Because now nobody can come and touch you as long as that dog is there. If that dog is your friend, then that dog will protect you. But some people don't keep dogs as, as a friend first. Mm -hmm. And then it becomes uh, an enemy to you and an enemy to everybody. Mm -hmm. But a good dog is a, good, is a friendly dog. Mm -hmm. First to the owner, mm -hmm. they, who now they tend to live together as friends. Mm -hmm. It loves you. Once it loves you, it will protect you. Mm -hmm. And uh, for somebody who's watching us and they say they would want to get a puppy from you, like uh, on average, on average, like how much would I need to get a puppy from you? Okay. My puppies are good quality. I would start for a range of 30, 30,000, uh, but we can, we can negotiate. Many breeders, uh, I know them mm -hmm. and friends, mm -hmm. so I tend to kind of work with them mm -hmm. and uh, so let me t because these are good breeds of German Shepherds mm -hmm. and they are long coats and black mm -hmm. so dark and tan mm -hmm. so you cannot find them very easily so I start with them on 30,000 and um, let's uh, talk to a young man out there who is thinking maybe I would like to I love dogs and I would want to breed dogs what advice would you give to you to a young man out there who or lady who might be thinking about breeding dogs as a business all right uh, I would ask the person to pick say if you pick uh, a litter uh, first put at least two dogs together dogs they tend to be very social they like staying together. Mm -hmm. Don't keep one dog by itself. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes when people start, they start with one dog. Mm -hmm. uh, th it's not a good way. Dogs want, they are a pack animals. They want to stay together. Mm -hmm. So put two, at least two together, mm -hmm. but don't buy from the same family. Mm -hmm. Uh, buy from the different families. Mm -hmm. If you buy from the same litter, either you buy two female or two male. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's a way to, if you buy from the same litter, mm -hmm. buy two males together, mm -hmm. If they're brothers and brother brothers or two sisters, mm -hmm. two sisters, so then you can start like that. They'll keep each other in company. Mm -hmm. When you're not there, they will hang out, they'll play, they they love to know they want to know how to fight and they do all those exercises. So so they need to do a lot of that. And that is where they get that kind of practice. Mm -hmm. So when you're starting, if you're young, start with two dogs, uh, from the same litter, you get two males or two females, mm -hmm. then or if you want to breed them get one male from one litter and then go get um, another female from another meat litter and now bring them together mm -hmm. yes w when you think about um training your dogs will you be training them for show or for work because i've come to learn they are working dogs and then they are show dogs all right uh i think for me i will lean more on working dogs mm -hmm. 
uh, because personally uh, I'm in an area where people are asking for security mm -hmm. and also I'm in the security committees within our, our area mm -hmm. and I want to specialize on uh, working dogs mm -hmm. but now I want to have dogs which are trained on specifically areas on on tracking mm -hmm. where they're able to follow a lead if we had a suspect we felt we went to a place and somebody had entered a house and they, they have just left mm -hmm. we would want to track that person to where they have come from or where they went so that is important if we do that in our community uh, because now our community is asking for that those kind of services i want to join in with a couple of other breeders mm -hmm. and dog uh, dog kennels mm -hmm. my friends and a lot of uh, ones who are in this community mm -hmm. we bring in dogs together mm -hmm. And now we have a private uh, company which we can now start build, training some specific dogs mm -hmm. to do tracking. When you say you want to train them, uh, will you be acquiring the services of a, of a trainer or are you in a place or position where you can train the dogs yourself? And do you know people who train dogs? Thank you. Uh, I have friends mm -hmm. who have, uh, we have several trainers. Mm -hmm. Uh, with big companies mm -hmm. and uh, both within this local area and also out of, out of the town. Mm -hmm. I've known them, so I'm trying to invite them. Mm -hmm. However, uh, also I've been forced to, to learn how to train dogs myself. Mm -hmm. uh, nowadays with the internet and with the Google and with the, and, uh, with the YouTube, mm -hmm. they have all kind of materials mm -hmm. to how, how to train dogs. Mm -hmm. So you can take time and learn from from such uh, such areas mm -hmm. it's a it's a little it's a little challenge but whatever you really want to do you can you can learn so when it comes to taking care of the kennel what support do you have do you have have you employed people uh are you do you incorporate your family into taking care of the dogs or how do you how is your daily day-to-day -day care of the kennel the day-to-day -day, uh at first i have been doing it myself because at first I, it was easy when I had fewer dogs. Mm -hmm. I would uh, feed them, I would wash the place and keep the place. And uh, I, have a big, I have a big compound and a big house and I increased also the dogs. So they, became, they became many. So now I've uh, put in a caretaker where now he comes in and now does the cooking, clean the house, but I supervise and make sure they do the right things uh, to do the disinfection, to make the places fumigated because also there are, there, are, uh, there are fleas which can come in quickly, things like that. So I do that most of the time. But sometimes some of these people tend not to be very faithful. Mm -hmm. uh, like today, my caretaker didn't, didn't, didn't show up. I think we, we just had... Uh, we I had asked him to to step uh, in for a half day, but I think he did not understand what I said, mm -hmm. so he he missed the day. So today I might possibly be doing the cleaning myself. Mm -hmm. So maybe I will I will invite you to come and assist me. Uh, I will remove my jacket and I uh, will walk in and I uh, will show you how 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 we how I do my cleaning. But usually the caretaker does that for me. Okay, don't worry. I'm a hands-on person, so we will do the cleaning together. When we leave this place, your kennel will be very clean. Thank you. <laughs> when it comes to feeding your dogs, I, what do you? What's the? What's your dog's diet like? Right, I have uh, been learning in the job mm -hmm. uh, basic uh, dog food from from the supermarkets mm -hmm. and also some they, we have people who keep dog food mm -hmm. and they sell mm -hmm. in the community but mm -hmm. also some it's it's important to watch out because some people don't know about things like aflatoxin mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of people in our neighborhood have lost their dogs mm -hmm. because of the bad food which uh, they have been getting sourcing from sources mm -hmm. which are not good or uh, at least people who understand dogs. So I source my food locally. Uh, sometimes I get some meat uh, from the butcheries and uh, just basic areas. So that's that's my kind of diet. Mm -hmm. I get some meat, I get uh, a lot of mixture of food and I kind of just play around with my food. I, I At least nowadays I understand the, the percentage of protein percent mm -hmm. which needs to be in the diet. Mm -hmm. So I make sure the protein percent in the diet is correct. Yeah. And calcium uh, so you find there's some, some. Uh, my I have a good uh, person who who has a good mix mm -hmm. of all that. Mm -hmm. So they put uh, millet, uh, uh, 
um, maize, maize brand, maize meal, a good percentage like that. But you, but you can do rice. Uh, when you do rice, make sure there is some meat there, there is fish. Mm -hmm. Some people also have the omenas, mm -hmm. uh, so you can do that. There is a fish, uh, uh, seafood mm -hmm. materials, people have the waste. Mm -hmm. So you can get uh, from the from the supermarket, you can get them from the from the other markets. Mm -hmm. You just collect a lot of those kind of foods, yeah. Give us a parting shot. Yes, I would say that... Um, one, in our culture and the systems that we are coming from, many people did not know about dogs. Mm -hmm. And we treated dogs badly. Mm -hmm. And uh, in fact, even if you want to abuse somebody, you call him a dog. Yeah. So it, we used to, it, it, we have come from a place where we did not know much about dogs as a culture. Mm -hmm. But now the culture is changing. Mm -hmm. uh, people are now realizing that actually there is a pet called a dog. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe the influence of the West or whatever, but actually people have realized now they, they, there, is a, there is a need of a dog, not only for security, even for company. You know, right now, and like before, people were, in the old times, we used to have families, people are very social, we have uncles and aunties. But now the people who have moved into the cities, the social life has become very different. People don't have friends anymore. People don't hang, hang out with people anymore. Everybody is by himself or herself. And one of the ways to, to relieve stress and all these things, people are finding friends in animals, especially dogs, because you'll come home, you'll find somebody there waiting for you, he's so excited to see you, you f you're able to play, you're able to... And now people are actually using animals for therapy. Mm -hmm. So, yes, I would say everybody now needs a dog mm -hmm. uh, for therapy reasons. I found my kids, as they find themselves, uh, they're not bored. As long as there's a dog there, they're able to run around and all that because maybe they're not playing with other kids. Mm -hmm. they, so it's become a therapy mm -hmm. and also it's a friend mm -hmm. and also it's a security. So there's all reason now why we need dogs. Mm -hmm. This is a new culture, new season and new generations. Mm -hmm. Everybody needs a dog. Okay, thank you. So I think right now we get to get our hands dirty All as right. we clean the kennel. Okay. Welcome. Okay, Perfect. thank you. Hi, this is me again. This is how, how I look when I'm doing uh, the, the actual work. So now I have to collect uh, the dog poop and make sure the, the kennels are clean and uh, because it's good to have a very clean place. Today my caretaker didn't come, so I have to do the job. All right, let's go and do it. For kids and family if, if also if you don't have enough space this is quite a nice apartment dog very friendly as you can see and uh, sugar and me are going to say goodbye because um, it's time to go sadly <laughs> but we've spent a nice wonderful time at the Drew Canines we've met um, actually you know, we've met uh, German Shepherds but this time it was a little bit different. I, I get surprised every day, every time I make a visit. Um, Drew Canine specializes with dark tan German Shepherds, which I had not met before. So you can see the many variants of dogs you have out there. So if you like this content, if you enjoyed watching us, please subscribe, like, and uh, share with your friends and all other dog lovers out there that you know and let's grow this community together 
I've been your girl Linda Kenyitsa and this is Dog TV Kenya, the best documentary channel for all dog lovers. Peace.